Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how to create a combo chart. A combo chart is a one which contains at least two charts in one chart like this one. This is a column chart combined with a line chart. The targets over here are represented via a line chart and the and the sales figures of my sales guys Superman, Thor and Hulk are represented in columns. You see this? I have created this data out of this. Here's the monthly, the quarterly sales targets and their figures and here are the results. This data I prepared using the sum ifs formula which I have taught earlier in my earlier videos. You can search them by the name of sum ifs I'll, you'll also find the description, the link to this sum ifs tutorial in the description of this video. Also, I have created this chart using a drop down. You see, if I change the drop down, the values change over here. So this has this also I have taught in one of my videos, wherein which is called dynamic chart with dy dynamic label. The link of the same is also provided in the description. And this data I have filled in using the rand between formula. So whenever I make a change over here, you will see this data also changing, the sales figure also changing. So let's see how we can make a combo chart. All right. So let's delete this chart first. And now to create a combo chart, let's go to insert and insert a column chart. All right. Once we insert the column chart, we right click and select data and select this data all right the complete set press enter and your normal chart is ready all right however now we want to make the targets as a line chart so what we'll do is we'll click on the target series right click it click on change series chart type and we'll go to the combo option and over here in the target section we will choose a line chart and this is how it would now look and we can also choose slightly different charts stack line and a line with markers click OK and here's your combo chart amazing now let us use the drop down to select some data alright see for quarter two so these are trying to reach the target over here I love this. How do we create a dynamic title for this? Well, to create a dynamic title, we need to write something somewhere like say, what I did was I typed in is equal to sales quotes open is equal to quotes open. Sorry, is equal to quotes open sales data for and percent and we give we select this cell which has the name of the quarter and press enter all right now we go to chart title and in the address bar we type in in the formula bar we type in is equal to and select this cell see automatically your label becomes dynamic so if you choose quarter say two over here it becomes sales data for quarter two. Well, I hope you liked this video and you can download this file from myelesson.org. And until the next video, have a wonderful time ahead. Happy learning.